I'm here. Boom, right there. Right, I feel like I'm pulling down here and then boom, here. And come here, with the top of my head. Right here, his elbow. And we're boom, here. Right there, just a second. Here, boom, boom. And I'm going right off of it. Head tight, snap, boom, I pop up, boom. When we tie on the head, um, basic fundamentals, when, when Clay grabs my head here, okay, I want to get dominant head position for one. I don't want, if we both grab each other's necks, just wrap it down on my neck here, boom, bad technique, and we go ear to ear like this. This is extreme, like, you're just going to be there forever. It's hard to clear that off when you're just in bad position. That's bad position, guys. On the neck, ear to ear, just clamping each other, okay? It's like two mountain rams that lock their horns. It's just, you're not going to go anywhere, okay? So proper position to start off with is, if Clay has me in this, he has the base of my skull, like his pinkies wrapped around the base of my skull. His elbow is in, framing here on my collarbone, okay? And he'll want to get, if he wants his proper head positioning, would be his forehead or temple in my temple here, like this. There. So now he has the advantage here, whichever way he wants to go. You get in a match, and you get tied up, and you can't do much of your setup out of this head tie. Okay, you just keep getting there, and you're, you're just kind of, it's almost like you're stalemating each other. We can't get there anymore, okay? I'm not saying to take a blind shot, but we have to use, we know they're gonna head tie. They've been doing it the whole match. We use this against them. You have to very act as soon, it's a button, as soon as he touches the back, boom, there. That's it. So I'm gonna show you some variations, multiple variations of the slide by, okay? And also um, the shuck. These are bait, we're not gonna cover like too much of the duck tonight, but. So the slide by, the, my fundamental way I've always done it is he ties here, this is this is good. It's not totally wrong to lock up with the front hand, but you have to lock up a certain. When I if I'm going to come in with my lead arm and I just reach up, I'm just giving him an open door to shoot on my leg. Nice little snatch single. Okay. If I'm going to reach in with the lead, I've got to leave my fore, like my elbow low, almost like I'm doing like an elbow strike, and I'm coming up here to avoid that shot. That's what this low hand's for. Okay. Um, I still don't necessarily recommend it. Uh, maybe if we start tying up and then I transfer there, but anytime lead and lead are tied, I'm more susceptible to the slide by and he's right here behind <coughs> here. Okay, you're more susceptible to that. Uh, so be aware. So depending on how you like to do your feet, you need to adjust. Okay, sometimes though, if he ties here and I've got this outside position like this, it's not so bad. I try to get the inside head position here. I reach up. And I can cut in the bicep or I can grab here at the forearm. Okay, I'm here, I'm driving into him to get him to drive back. I look away, I peel here, and I bring him by. That's my just standard way I've always learned. Like I'm here, boom, right there. Okay, there's multiple ways though. Okay, so a lot of you already know that one. Okay, another way we can do it, if we want to tie up on the same side here, if you end up, you know, I did that one here. If I'm here, I do this. I try to get my inside head position. Normally, I'm going to grab right here under the elbow. I'm going to take this hand. I'm going to come to the inside here. I can try to grab the back of his tricep on the inside. Okay. I come here. I'm going to run inside here. Now, when I go to pull, I'm going to take like a fencing kind of step here. Okay. So when I go to pull, I push with my head boom, to here. Okay. Automatically, I want to get in the hip or go for like the body lock there. Okay. So I've got an option to go this way and to cut here on the inside. I act like I'm pulling down here and boom, here, and come in, okay? Things you'll mess up on. You'll go here, you'll do this right, you'll step in, you'll turn your head, but you'll stop here. You have to look away. Oh, Watch his hand when I do that. Here, nothing. When I look away, there, there's the pill. And you pull them like you're trying to pull them down to the mat as hard as you possibly can. They're not going to go that far. But if we pull them like we want them here, they're probably going to stop here. We pull them like we want them there, you'll get them to about here where you want them. We've got to over exaggerate that pull to get that power. Those are two slide by options. Um, some people will call certain things, I would call the shuck a slide by as well. Um, I don't know if that's just difference in where they wrestled. If some people just lump it all into slide bys. Um, but my coach, it was shuck, duck, and slide by where your three forms. Okay, slide by was more where you're peeling off, uh, the shuck was more of the more rough movement. Okay. So here, if the, the standard shuck that, that I've always done, that I've always learned, is I'm here, I get my head positioning as always. This gives me more space to work. I turn this way, 
I'm using the meaty part of my forearm and bicep here when it bends this area to catch him right here in the same area. Okay, I'm here, we're driving, we're driving. And guys, if, if you're not getting a lot of resistance from your opponent, like if they're just standing here, like which they most likely aren't gonna be, but if they're, you know, if they're driving and pushing, this is when this stuff works really good. If you're not getting any resistance, you're probably just gonna be able to take him down anyway. Okay, but I'm here, he's really got this locked. I'm getting that push, I'm taking this palm down. I'm same, same body movement. I'm turning, looking away, peeling this head to me, but I'm using this part of the arm here. As I look away, it just hits the outside of his arm here. Boom. And peels that off. Just turn your hip, boom, turn your hip into it. Okay. Anything you can do when you can use your hip rotation to generate power is going to be very effective. And here, boom, right there. Okay. You got a really good kind of flagpole grip there on his neck. Up here, with the top of my head, right here. You can snake under here like this and grab your own bicep like that. Okay, it kind of makes it hard for Clay to get his arm out, but get your arm out. See, he's got to kind of work to get that arm out. Okay, so I'm just trapping his elbow here. Head position trap, and I grab my own bicep here. Okay, now same principles. I can step, or if I'm hard in the stance, I step forward. I like to take a big step here. Heel. Same thing. I'm reaching under, grabbing my own bicep just like that. And I'm kind of like pinching his head in place here and his elbow. And we're from here, right there. Okay, guys, you need to have a plan of action once you hit any of these moves. It's all personal preference of what takedowns you like. You can bring them all the way to the mat with this. You can stop a double leg. You can body lock. You can come here, boom, and go ahead inside. So you avoid guillotines and things like that. Drilling these and getting good at them is great. Boom, they're off your head. But if you have no backup plan once you actually accomplish your goal and you just kind of hesitate, guys, you're probably going to be right back locked up with them like you don't want to be. Okay? Here, we tie up. Here. Number one. Number two here. I trap his arm, trap his arm, and I go again. Got it? Me having been a wrestler, when I get there, I lock up with someone, I see how they move, I can definitely tell that they have some wrestling experience. Then we have to go further into the match to see exactly how much they have. I had a, a match with uh, Quantel Lankford one time at the state here in Tennessee, and uh, he's you know, a really good wrestler. And it was a good test for me because he went further in wrestling than I did for sure. And just to see if I could take him down, if he could take me down, and like I could see him like measuring me up and, and studying what I was doing, and I was doing the same to him and neither one of us could get the other one down. For me, uh, a, a big thing, because he's really good, um, but uh, I ended up pulling guard in the triangle later on and stuff, so I just went straight for jiu-jitsu. I got tired of being on the feet. I proved myself, <laughs> and let's get to the back, okay? Let's get some really agile wrestlers. They're gonna get low, like, please only stop pulling me down to the mat, because here, like really snapping my head. I'm looking for ankle picks and things like that. If you watch uh, Kel Sanderson's matches, He's head snapping, looking for ankle picks, circle step, and all that good stuff. Okay, so when I feel that happening, he's going here. I know what's happening. I know he's baiting me. So when we pop back up, he pulls. Boom. We pop back up. Boom. I'm taking that slide by. Just a second. Here. Boom. Boom. And I'm going right off of it. Or if I do get the opportunity to get that head tie, sometimes they'll do it and snap you as soon as they boom. Here. Okay. That means they got a head of you. All right. So we got to, don't do this. Don't get snapped. And pop up because that's what they want to do, okay? When I pop up, he keeps the head tight, snap, boom, I pop up, boom. I'm coming right off of that. You can't go wrong going past someone and getting by him, and, and getting and get by him, okay? Hopefully, though, we've got some kind of tie. Boom, here. See, I went for it, he snaps, I pop, boom, I come up, and I come by. If you do end up locking here, guys, lock and get down into the hip here. Don't just hold the body, get down into the hip. We came in, he tied. We did a standard tie here, standard slide by. We did the opposite side, cut to the inside. We take our step, step, boom, slide by here. We did our standard shuck, going there. Okay, we did the tie on us here. He doesn't have to be tied, but a lot of times they're gonna be doing this. I reach under, trap his elbow, and boom. Shuck there, and then head tie, he snaps, boom, I come up, boom, slide by, and I don't get a grip, boom, he snaps me down, boom, slide by there. Notice on that one, 
if it's too much of a reach to get this head sometimes, boom, I'll come up and I'll just get the body. Boom, and the body can be enough, okay? The head's better. Where the head goes, the body goes. So really stout, good stance, the body may not work, okay? Once you disengage, as soon as you go tie up again, boom, you gotta go. Don't let it get locked. Got it? One, two, three.